This month, Dr. Phyllis has ideas for a nurse coping with extreme sadness when she loses a patient, and perioperative nurse Renee Battier shares her background and looks at the benefits of association membership. Ask Dr. Phyllis is brought to you by New York Presbyterian Hospital. Amazing things are happening here. Roxy, an RN in Tampa, writes, For 10 years I've worked in a facility caring for elderly patients and have felt good about my work. But lately I've been unable to shake my sadness when we lose a patient. I feel attached as if they were my own grandparents. I'm depressed, anxious and tired all the time. I don't want to leave my job, so how can I better manage my emotions? Roxy, not everyone is capable of making a connection with another person to the degree that you consider them extended family members. You have the gift of an open heart, and this gift needs to be honored and protected. Caregivers are capable of experiencing great compassion, but the flip side of that is they're also at risk for experiencing great sorrow. You've been able to strike a healthy balance for the past 10 years, so my sense is that recent, more intense emotions are coinciding with some challenges in your personal life. And I'm concerned about the toll it seems to be taking on you, given the symptoms that you described. I would like you to consider reaching out to someone who can offer you some professional counseling. You can seek those services privately, but I do want to remind you that most healthcare organizations have employee assistance programs ready and very willing to work with you so that you can process these feelings and be all the stronger for it. Email your questions to askdrphyllis at nursingsuccess.tv. Renee Battier, board president of the Association of Perioperative Registered Nurses, AORN, is a perioperative nurse with over 35 years of experience. Today, she discusses how her nursing career began by volunteering as a candy striper and how being a member of an association helped her learn and grow professionally. I really enjoyed the interaction with patients and was drawn to being part of people having healthy lives and helping them deal with challenges and sickness. And that's really what attracted me to nursing. I wasn't sure what type of nursing I wanted to do, but I knew I was really drawn to that as a healing art. I actually had a three week rotation in the operating room as part of my undergraduate nursing education. I was able to take advantage of a senior student employee experience at a local hospital. They took five of us that were senior nursing students and we worked in the operating room one or two days a week um, during our senior year. So it was really that experience that allowed me to go from there and get a job directly into the operating room as a new graduate. And I've been in the operating room ever since. The teamwork was amazing to me. I loved the multidisciplinary aspect of working very closely with the surgeons and the anesthesiologists and each one of us had a unique role. I loved that and the kind of project part of it, we had to finish. You don't get to go home if the surgery is not done and that dynamic of working so closely with a team was very intriguing to me. In my career I can honestly say that I've, I can see a lot of overlap and ways that being a member in a membership organization such as they are in has really made a difference in my career. As a baby nurse, I um, got involved in the local chapter because other people brought me in. And as I look back, I can see how many different roles within the chapter and the state organization as well gave me a chance to stretch some some leadership and project experiences that I didn't necessarily get in my day job. What AORN did for me, both at the local level as well as nationally, was allowed me to network outside my facility. So in spite of being at one place for a long time, I was really able to connect with others and see how they were doing things as well as connect nationally with a lot of experts and be able to compare and best and talk about best practices, benchmark against others. So I think it really helped me not get too narrowly focused at AORN. We have 
a huge wealth of resources that are available on the website for AORN that are both clinical resources as well as networking resources and educational opportunities, both online opportunities as well as face-to-face -face, um, education opportunities that if you are not connected to a membership organization, you just don't have that. It's still, at the end of the day, about providing safety and a great environment for the patient to have care as well as for the team to provide safe and effective care. So that some of the early things that intrigued me really have continued to be what intrigued me and challenged me as a perioperative leader as well. Thanks for joining us today. Click the banner below this video player to share your ideas and suggestions for Nursing Success TV. We'll see you next time.